Hey guys, my name is Kitty. Welcome back to my channel. This is going to be my April reset. So I'm so excited for this April reset because I do have quite a few things that I really, really want to do. The biggest thing I want to do in this vlog is to actually do a bookshelf reorganization of all my shelves because things are getting a little bit crowded and very disorganized. I've been just stacking books on top of each other. I don't know if you can see here. My mass market paperback shelf has literally like 10 books just laying on top of the other ones so I just want to rework all the shelves and reorganize and I do think I'm going to end up just changing the way that I arrange all my books so I really want to rework this shelf two of the shelves I have over here that you can't see but I want to rework those the horror one I think will stay the same I just need to fix my mass market paperback I think this one also might stay the same I just might just clean up some stuff and spread some things out but this shelf here and then the two that are over here I'm definitely going to rework and fix because they could definitely be more efficient so I want to go in and just kind of fix everything and I also have an unhaul shelf that I really need to actually unhaul the books from so let's go into a bookshelf reorganization. So the next thing I want to talk about is my TBR. So for my TBR, I'm not going to be playing my TBR game this month either. I just have a couple of books that I need to read in April that I don't really want to worry about trying to fit into a TBR game. So no TBR game for this month either. 
um, but hopefully she will be making a comeback in May. It's just right now hasn't been the best time for it because I just have a couple of videos that I'm working on that I need to read specific books for. So the TBR game will be taking a break for this month. So I do have an official TBR. I have three books on there that I actually have to read um, this month and I'm looking at my reading journal because I have made my spread for April already. Um, and so those three books, the first one is for the Spicy Cats book club. It's an open to the public discord book club that I run and for the month of April it's actually Monster Romance Month which I've been looking forward to since I started <laughs> the book club and our book club pick for April is actually going to be The Scorpion's Mate by Suzanne Thrombley. So we're going to be reading this on my Discord. So freaking excited. This cover is gorgeous. This is the Renegade Romance exclusive edition of this cover. And I am obsessed. <laughs> like, obsessed. Um, so I cannot wait to start this. And this is our female lead. And look how freaking gorgeous she looks. Oh my god, I literally cannot wait to start this book. I will be doing reading sprints for the book club probably in the middle of the month for the Scorpion's Mate. I'm so excited about this. Like, you have no idea how excited I am. So I'm very, very excited. This is going to be the Spice Cats book club pick for April if you do want to join. Again, the link is in the description and it is a public, you know, free to join book club. And I'm so freaking excited <laughs> for April's pick. And then the other two books that I have to read are for my Patreon book club. So the first one is for the Hellraiser book club. And that book is going to be When the Moon Hatched by Sarah A. Parker. I haven't gotten my copy yet. It is coming. I think it's getting here like the 2nd of April or something. So it will be here soon. I'm so freaking excited about this one. I have heard nothing but great things about this book. And I just literally can't wait. This is a fantasy romance. I literally don't know much about this except that. <laughs> I really don't like knowing too many things about books that I'm going to read, but I do know it's a fan row. I heard that it's fucking amazing. I heard it's very emotional, and I think dragons are involved somehow. I cannot wait to start that. So that is for the Hellraiser book club, and I will be doing a spoiler-filled reading vlog for that for my Patreon, and I am so, so, so excited. The other book for Patreon, and this is for my top tier patrons, we're going to be reading Dark City Omega by Elizabeth Stevens, and I cannot wait for this one. This is an Omegaverse romance. I went specifically looking for a Omegaverse romance after I read Bride, and I was so disappointed with that, and I really wanted an actual Omegaverse romance book uh, an actual megaverse romance i went looking and i heard a lot of great things about this one and there is a second book coming out i think later this year the universe really lined up because if this is really good i know that a second book is coming out that i'm just like okay perfect i can jump into that one too so i'm so 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 excited for dark city omega i've literally heard nothing but great things it looks gorgeous i can't wait i hope it's everything i've ever wanted from an omegaverse i think it will be and i'm so so excited so for that is going to be for my top tier patrons and we will be having like a discord book discussion when it comes to that book. So those three books are for sure going to be read in April. I'm so excited about all of them and I feel like it's just going to be such a fun month for me because two of them are monster romances, well sort of, <laughs> and then the other one is a fan row and I'm just like oh my god like I've been blessed. It's going to be such a fun month so I can't wait for that. I will be participating in Old School April. I'm so 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 excited for Old School April. If you haven't heard, Old School April is a readathon, watchathon, activityathon that's happening in April. It was created by my friend Kelsey over on Simon Slashers. I will leave her channel linked down below as well as the announcement video for Old School April. And if you've never participated in a readathon and you really want to start and get into one, I feel like Old School April is the best one to jump into because it's just so much fun. And there's so many ways that you can participate within the readathon. Like if you don't want to read too much, you can watch movies. If you don't want to watch movies, you can read. If you don't want to do either, there's activities. So you can, you have a lot of leeway to move around based on whatever you feel like doing for the month of April. And I'm just so, so, so pumped for old school April. So I cannot wait to participate. I will be essentially picking books that I think could fit 
the prompts that I use and also I will be doing a kind of movie watch along thing. I do have a couple of movies that I will be re-watching in theme with Old School April um, and then also there's going to be a bunch of watch parties during Old School April. The Discord server will be having watch alongs and stuff which I'm also going to be trying to go to as many as I can um, but I'm so 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 excited about Old School April and I again I will leave all the information for it linked down below. I definitely recommend participating if you want to get into a really fun readathon that one's gonna be so much fun <laughs> so that's gonna be it for this reset i hope you guys enjoyed this video i love making resets uh, i know this one's probably a little bit shorter than my usual one so i hope you guys enjoyed it if you made it this far into the video and you want to leave me an emoji just to say hi you can leave me a little scorpion emoji for scorpions mate i literally cannot wait for this book i'm like this is the one i'm so excited about like this is like my five star prediction <laughs> like i literally can't wait so if you want to leave me a little scorpion emoji um you can that would be really fun but aside from that i do hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe to keep with more content for me and i'll see you guys in my next video